Hello everybody, it's Eddie here, Eddie Makes Art. Um, health update, still a little sick, don't know why. Um, I think it's just like a, a cold, but I don't know, feeling feverish today, but enough energy to um, make this video because I wanted to show you something I've been working on. Um, see all these little goodies here on my table? Well, this is what I'm calling paint swatch ephemera. Um, and the reason, this is how I came up with this. I was basically going through my stuff and, you know, my artwork and, and stuff. And I had a lot of, um, old swatch sheets that I made with watercolors. This is when I was really into watercoloring and, and I, I, um, I had started, it's when I first started getting into watercoloring. So like I'll show you, for example, these are some of the swatch papers I made. This is on pretty heavy paper. It's a, I think it's the Canson um, watercolor paper that comes in the pad. You know, so we got all different options, different colors. This is on a different paper. I think this one's um, the Arches watercolor paper. You know, and so I saved all these and I'm thinking, I'm not gonna use them again because I have better ones that I made. So what if we went ahead and did something with it. There's color on there, on the paper. The paper's good paper. Oh, uh, you know, I got a bunch of stamps. I got a bunch of other stuff to put on it. So that's what I did. So let me present to you, I'll go through it quickly, of what I've made. Um, uh, yeah, we'll start over here. So this was a, um, I had, so you see these round ones and then these two, these were all on the same sheet. I was practicing doing little galaxies, right? So what I ended up doing uh, is I, I stamped on them. And you can see this is all stamping. And then um, I took some gel medium and I added a, a piece of uh, collage tissue and then a butterfly and then a word here and then just outlined it with white uh, gel pen. And then on the back, you can write. So it's like a little, it's a round journal card, right? Um, same with this one. And this one, I didn't want to do too much because I really liked the, the blue and how it worked with the stamp, and the Death Head Moth stamp. Again, well, journal card. Because this is, like I said, is strong paper. Um, and with stamping on this type of paper, on watercolor paper, it's great because it's really absorbent. It holds it well. You just have to make sure you ink up your stamp well. Um, because, yeah, I'll show you. You see the difference between these two? This one's a little fainter. Um, I put, I made sure I had more ink on this one. Okay. Now, there are some stamps you do have to use a few times before they get really um, primed and, and good to go. Oh, this one is fun. This is a stamp I got from my friend Maya. And it's, I'm gonna pull it out for you. It is a, um, it has no backing on it. These are a little dusty because I was wiping them with baby wipes and it's coming off. So there's no um, backing on them. It's just the rubber part, right? And so I just took a, uh, an acrylic block, put a little glue stick down, slapped that down and then used it to print. And then with this, I used the white ink it's a, it's from Heroes, Hero Arts, Hero Hughes Creative Paper Crafting. It's called, the color is Unicorn. Okay, so it's a pigment ink. It's, um, it's quite strong as far as it gets everywhere if you're not careful. And it can smudge easily. So um, this one, if you'll notice, it did not take the full print. So I went in with some just white gel pen, gel pen. And, and cleaned up some of the details, right? It's not finished, but you know, it's a good start. I thought that was a fun stamp. And then the other one she sent me is this like, sort of like a star thing. And I wasn't sure what it was until I stamped it out. And I ended up with this thing here, see? So what I did was I cut it out after I stamped it, also on watercolor paper. And there was some paint on it, but not much. It was like a, a scrap, right? And I wanted to use it up. So I took some um, colored pencil, colored it in, took a piece of scrap gel print, and I made it into a band. 
and then I put this over it to cover up where the the the, the paper ribbon goes through and it's a little a belly band for a couple of if I could get it off for a couple of journal cards so I previously made these cards as you see just made a little simple belly band there's a part here so on this side and this side is where I cut open little slits to run this through and you see how it moves or it should move because I didn't glue it down okay there we go so it still moves because what I did is I set this down, but I glued it around the corners and the edges so it didn't touch the, the band. So that's cool. That's another cool idea I did. A little belly band. And it doesn't have to be for journal cards. It can be for, you know, tags. It can be for stationery. Something fun. Okay. And then I have here... Yeah, so I did the chicken on this one. Now this is a paint swatch card, or paint chip card they call them, that um, I believe it was Becky who sent me this, and she sent me a couple other ones. And I did the chicken on this one, and I said, why not, let's just do the chicken on the other side. Now, here's what I learned. <laughs> These are very slick. So the ink is, is, is down pretty good, except there's a couple spots where my finger grabbed it and it smudged. So this probably could have used some clear gesso or something like that, something that's gonna rough up the, the surface a little bit, but I went ahead with it. And then I just made it into a journal card, a little scrap coffee dye paper. We have that. This one I'm still working on. This one I used the Starlet stamp and then some, um, one of these guys, this thing here, the Tim Holtz uh, script stamp for the background. Okay, and I was working on this, but I'm not sure yet, so we're gonna play with that one. Oh, this one's fun. So I had stamped two leaves next to each other, right? And I said, you know what, let me make a little book. So that's what I did. Pulled uh, just a pieces of scrap um, coffee dye paper, and this is uh, coffee dye um, art paper, what is it called, construction paper. And then just stapled it down the middle. Gave it a couple, um, gave it a little sentiment and a page number. And then I just ran some loose, um, what do they call that material? The, um, the woven burlap. <laughs> and then I, I ran it through this little clip here. There you go, got a little book. Um, here, I got some tags. This is um, a mixed media tag I made. I don't know if you can see the, the shiny. It's very shiny. So this has texture paste on it. This has um, other paints on it. This has acrylics. This has some um, colored pencil in here. Um, and the back is a gel print. And on the front, I had I printed this B or stamped the B out on some paper, and I, I thought it'd be fun to cut it out and set it on top of here, like it's flying off the tag. But and I put little those little pads, things, stickers on there to to lift it up, and then just added some some cool little fibers. And then here's two more, a couple more tags. This one has another B. This one's much smaller with some mushrooms, and then a little ribbon, and then just some fun ephemera on the back with a little space for writing. I figured since this was up here, I wanted to put something there and then that way this space you can write on and not worry about running into that. Here's another tag I made. This is kind of like you can hang it from your book, um, from a page, from whatever, and it's just numbers, random numbers I stamped on a page. And then I actually gel, um, put gel medium on it, I had the gloss gel medium inked it and then just a little added a ring with some ribbon there you go we got writing space now this one is a, another one but i decided to make, a, to make it a bookmark instead and i even kept the name of the paint on there so you know it's a swatch right and then just put some uh, coffee dyed paper on the back and then made a little little tassel to go with it and then this one has the Florida Lee stamp on it. And I got a little 
little plaid ribbon here and then stick it right at the back with little some doodads there. Okay, and then the tiny, tiny tag. This one's cute, right? And this one is pedestrian talent. And on the back, this is a piece of vellum that I stamped on and just cut it out and um, set it on the back. I thought that was cute, cute little, cute little addition to a journal. And then we have a couple more deadhead or death head mo uh, moths. This one I colored with pencil. And this one I just left as is. That's just the watercolor that was on the paper. Now this here, this is the watercolor too. So I just left it like that and then just went all over everything else with the um, with colored pencil. And you know, you could glue this down on a page, on a pocket, stick it in, in, in somewhere as ephemera. And then I cut, um, I had little swatches of color and um, I did as I stamped on it and then stamped on it again with the floor de lis And then I cut them out, put a little gel medium on them, and they're kind of like little, little chips. And you can add it to a tag you might already have or something or that you're going to make. So these are just little bits of ephemera that you can use to decorate your other stuff, right? And this just, um, this is a wasp. And again, watercolor background, I put a little stamp, um, script stamped on it, Ed ink the edges, put a little coffee dye paper on the back. So, got that. Again, this is just like another thing you just tuck into a pocket or a side tuck or something. You could put a ring on it and, and hang it from something. Same thing with the leaf. This little guy, this one's cute. It's just a little, little floor to leave, a little rectangle sort of thing, All right? And then on the back, I just stamped simple message, All right? That's cool. And then I just did some circle uh, punches on a couple of B stamps. And then this is just, I had extra of that um, on another section. So I just, I punched some of that out. I punched, um, or this was yellow watercolor and I stamped some mushrooms on there, a little print or script, and then a little um, gel medium over the top. So, yeah, let me clean this mess away, <laughs> and uh, I will come back and we'll, um, I'll show you how to make some of these. Okay, so that's cleared away. So, um, now this was a long piece of watercolor paper. Now, I was going to say, if you don't have um, watercolor swatch paper that you've, you know, made previously or whatever, just make one up. Grab a piece of watercolor paper or mixed media paper. Do a little, get your watercolors out. You can even do it with acrylics. You can do it with your oils, whatever. Um, with something that's not gonna smudge, right? So it's gonna dry. Now, remember, this is watercolor paper. So if you add water, it's going to activate the paint. I discovered that when adding gel medium to some of, to one of my tags, but that was because, see where, where the heavier side of the pigment is? That is gonna release a lot of pigment so because it's just sit a lot of it is 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 sitting there um so yeah just be aware of that you know be careful i mean you could do it you just gotta be careful um and you don't have to put gel medium on them you know i just thought they look better and they would stand up better um so yeah that's some of those so these i could cut out and you know we can i can make little um little squares i could do um a bookmark all sorts of stuff, okay? So that's that. And then, so let's let's get some stamps out. Now, not all of my stamps, my, so I have some foam stamps, I've got silicone, rubber stamps, all sorts. So I'm just gonna pull out, pull out a couple that I will, might fit these. All right, so we'll see. All right, let's, let's just get to stamping. Um, I want to use my blue ink. I got these little mini inks here from um, Ranger, and they're actually, they're really good. They're nice and strong. They're nice and um, fresh. They come in these four colors, Cobalt, Library Green, Monarch Orange, or Monarch Orange, and Vermilion. Those are very nice. 
Okay, so as always, you want something cushiony under your, whatever you're stamping, to give you a better stamp. Um, now, the foam stamps I'm using today, these are available at pmartistudio.com. And, um, of course, I will link that to you. Um, and if I use something different, I will link that uh, if, if I remember as well. <laughs> okay. So, here, let's do the first one. This is a... Honeybee, honeybee. So I'm kind of just rubbing it all over, make sure I get it on everything. And then the trick is, here, this is a little more room. Just hold it down for about six, seven seconds. And try not to wiggle it. That's what gives it a weird, the weird fuzzy edges. So there you go. That's kind of cool, all right? Do the wasp. They have a lot more foam stamps over at uh, PM Artist Studio, and um, they just released some new ones, like um, in the like seashells and that type of thing, and then um, some numbers. And so they got they got a great um, great selection over there. This one's like a splat, right? So this is one of their um, stamps they sent me that just wasn't going to cut it for a regular customer. So they just sent it to me to play with. Um, but it's it's the innard from their urchin central, sea urchin um, stamp. But it makes a cool blob. Right? Put something else over that too, right? And make another blob here. Fun, right? What we're gonna put up here. You know what? I have the sentiment still on this block. And this came from a set my friend Maya sent me. If I don't remember to put the link in, please just remind me in the comments and I can do that. No problem with that. Let's see, that's really easy. Oh, we missed one. Here, here let's do maybe. What do I have in here? Here's a fern. What if we just do a little fern on this yellow block? Nothing says you have to use it, you know, one way or the other, as far as the position of the paper. So, see? And then you can add more stuff to that. Let's do some more stamping, and then we'll come back and decorate some of these. And it's about to get messy in a second, but don't worry. It's for a good, good cause. So we can set that there. I like these, these little jobbers, as Patricia calls them. Patricia is the P at PM Artist Studio, FYI. So that's a little vermilion. Could do, you know, we'll do the vermilion here. Isn't that beautiful? And you see how well the, the paper takes the ink. You could do another one. Get a little inky on there. Isn't that great? Now, there's still ink on here. So we can come over here. Over here, we can come down here. Should we throw this one? See, we still got ink. That's what I love about these foam stamps is they do um, hold ink well. Come over here, we can do it on this one, just do a different angle. See? Now, um, now 
I thought this was gonna, this would be a cool idea. So I have this script stamp. This is a dream, I believe it's called dream poem or script poem. And it's designed by Froyle Davies. Yes, that Froyle Davies. And this is available at PM Artist Studio. Um, here, let me get some of this out of the way. Now for this one, I'm gonna use the black ink and I'm gonna use a, um, Where's my black ink? Here it is. Got my large pad here. And you wanna make sure you get a nice coating on there. And this one I wanna do over these swatches here, and then I can cut them up individually. And each one has a little bit of script on them. Or I can make it into a tag. I can make it into, you know, whatever. Let's see, got my little foam pad underneath. easy was that and you can go through put your, punch a hole in it get some ribbon in there here that's perfect let's do that I want to ink it first but I'm not going to ink it with the standard brown ink I want to use this blue and this is the um, distress ink uh, faded jeans And again, the watercolor paper is great when you're inking because it takes the ink in so well and gives you a nice, a nice um, vignette look, aged, you know. Hmm, I want to put something on here. Yeah. Let's get a flower. How about we do a flower? This is a very summery kind of card or tag. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. When I see you, I will know. You gotta sing to your stuff so it comes at you better. First time, well, second time. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would trim the edge off of this washy flower, but um, it kind of blends into the back anyway, and it pushes the script into the background. That way, your your featured piece is featured in the front. Right, it's a one inch punch. And then I'm gonna go and, there we go. I'm gonna take one of these, and stamp it out. Let's see, purpley, do we have a purple one? No, but here, we'll go with this kind of, it's like, I think that's the Viridian Green. I want to cut it better, like more in the center. So we can cut this bit off to get the stamp in there. Not enough room. center and then just punching 
Ta-da, we got it, yay. Perfect. So, just gonna use that like that. Something new. Let's add some flipping. Okay. Keep it simple. One little piece of bling bling. With a little bit of glue. And that will dry clear, but I can here, let me just wipe it with me. With me thingy. There you go. Cute. Now, oh, we need a hole. Can't get the ribbon in without a hole. today, aren't you, Punchy? There we go, it's a fun little, fun tag. Very simple. So we'll set you to the side. And then on these, what color shall we do? Add the green. I'm gonna go ahead and do the, um, to the orange. I just want to see how that looks. And, you know, use the stamps that you have. You don't have to go out and buy everything that I have or that, you know. Use what you have. And I think that helps you be more creative when you're limited with what you have. And I don't have a ton of stuff, you know, so. Like I said, just use what you've got. I went ahead and cut these out too. You know, and these would be great as little specimen cards, right? Whatever, put a little 
you know, um, put an image of a, uh, of a bug or a flower and, you know, ink it all up and make it seem as if it's a um, specimen car type thing, you know? And the good thing about creating your own ephemera is that you can do with it whatever you want and really make it your own. Make it what you need. I mean, my butterfly stash here. Here, we're gonna put that on there. Those colors are perfect. So, ink up the edges a little bit. And this, these are Tim Holtz little um, butterflies. They're on a little thick cardstock. Uh, so this calls for some glitter glue. All the way around. Now you get a little specimen card. Ooh, fancy, huh? Uh, this one, we'll go ahead and ink it. and color this in. I'm just gonna grab the first one I saw there. And color in by section or just, you know, shade larger swaths of it in one color and then come in with this green maybe. And then how about some of this like tan? Color maybe on the edges because it's starting to brown a little bit. Now I'm not doing anything fancy here, just coloring. And sometimes that's all you need. Let's get more of the green that's sharp. Oops. Did I shake the camera? I think I did. So you get the idea, you know, color it in. You can even make it a little more intense by going over it again. And that's the cool thing with um, colored pencils is when you go over it again with the same color, you intensify it. See what I mean? How I did that with the yellow. So if I continue this way, you can see how that yellow pops now. This is a, an old curtain panel I picked up at a thrift store that it was, it wasn't old because it was just like left in the packaging. I guess the previous owner had only used one of the panels. So um, the other panel was still folded up in its um, packaging. That's what I got for a buck. Oh boy, here we go. I struggle with these. Here we go. Did I? 
I just totally took that out, didn't I? We're gonna try this again. All right, try to get it to a small enough to get through here. Okay. And open the loop. Is this the correct loop? Yes. Okay, so I'll take this and go through here and then pull. There we go. Much better. Isn't that nice? And I think on these, let's do bookmarks. But we're going to back them first. I want to put something on the back. I thought maybe we could have some of that on the back. All that. So I'm going to make some room over here. This little section here. We can get a stamp on there. And what color should we use? Though? I want to use black. Yeah, let's use black. Why not? So let's just make sure that we're spacing them out well. Now, the last time I did it was a mistake. Like it was like a happy accident type thing. And they don't have to be the exact same size or height, as long as it fits within the confines of the book, right? So, that way, and then fold it to here. Oops, let's see. Yeah, that should be good. And we can trim it right there. And that should be good size for that and I can use that to cut or trim this one and then we'll trim the height I like about using the envelope is that on the inside you get this cool pattern that you know makes the book a little more interesting right and doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, you guys it's it's good to save your scraps i've been saving these for a while I've been, i'm almost running out it's a piece of nice dark Coffee dye paper. Okay, where's my that's a ruler? This. Okay. Put 
are going to do this twice, so let me get that, that edge there, yep. That's something else you can do when you're doing these little books, is you don't have to cut down the paper. All right? So let's fold this in half, bring it to our book. And then what you do, you should go, okay, how much is sticking out? Here we go. Fold some in. Have a little fold out page, right? This one, and then this one down the middle. Again, just bring in as much as you want or as little, as long as it's inside the edge. I mean, you could have it stick it on the edge. I've done some work. Um, the ruffled or the torn edges are sticking out of the book. So for now, that's good. And then we'll put this one in the middle. And this is not getting sewn in. I'm gonna staple it in, but first I want to ink it. So what I'm gonna do, I'll get this in the middle, All right? that in the middle. See, some of it's gonna stick out and that's cool. Gonna give it a little rub with the bone folder. And then open it inside out. And then staple right where along the seam. That's one. Not the best, you know, let me take that one out. I didn't do that very well. There we go. Okay, so we've got a little book here. And on the inside, we could do Let's put that in there. And it could be a pocket. How about that? So let's glue down these three edges. Oh, come on, glue. You are doing so well. Let me wipe this off real quick. Easy peasy. Okay, so I can hold it there because that's not where I want the glue. A little bit here, a little bit there, and a little bit here. So let's see, these are fun little things that you can do to add into a, a junk journal. You can give them to people in happy mail, you know. All that good stuff. And while we're at it, we got a little, little thing here. We can put that in there. Okay, Get all nice and rustic looking. There you go, get a little book out of our watercolor. Um, what do you call those things? Paint swatches. And okay, we got a stamp or um, a tag there. Let's finish off these bookmarks.
let's look at what we've got. So we got the two bookmarks. Make those. We got some, what do you call these little specimen type cards? And then we made uh, this tag here. We made a little book. And what else did we make? Oh, we didn't cut out this guy. Let's cut this out first. Let's see what we've got. We can leave these, that one. We did, oh, we did this one today too. We didn't finish the little guy, but that's okay. I can finish him later. So we've got a couple of bookmarks we made. We've got a tag, we even made a little book. Oops, we have some specimen cards. So we did pretty good with just some pieces of um, watercolor paper that have been painted on already. I can do all sorts of stuff. So I hope we got something out of it. I hope you enjoyed this. I thank you very much for joining me. And um, until next time, thank you so much. And if you have any comments, um, suggestions for videos or anything, just drop it in the comments. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I will see you very soon.